everybody, I'm Akash. What is a computer? Well, let us explore. Here I'm going to explain about computer. How it works, what are the parts and components, operating system, and common problems. Now the major question in everybody's mind is how to troubleshoot the common problems you face in your daily use. Does it sound interesting? Okay, now let me show you a magic. Look at me, not me, but at this computer. Let me give some power to the computer and see if it is working. Now let me power on. Now let me power on the monitor. See, no screen. Now let me explain to you the truth. Very simple for us now, but brain work of some genius people who spend time, worked hard, sacrificed their personal life, done research, invented the VJ, other parts, and the whole computer before our young generations. Knowledge passes from one generation to another. First of all, we all must appreciate those genius people. When the computer was invented for the first time, it was a huge machine, a four-story building. Today, a computer can sit on your palm. That is technology. What is VJ? VJ means video graphic adapter. There is a built-in VJ card in the main board. It gives the video output to the monitor. Well, if so, what is a computer? The same question again. A kid like me, will say it is a box. A fourth grader will say it is my game device. An eighth grader will say it is my music box. A tenth grader will say I sneak into it when mom and dad are not in. My mom will say don't touch it or break. It is a computer. My curiosity increases and asked myself, what is it? Because she didn't get the right answer. She knows I am a true breaker. But dad will say to me, if mom is not home, you break it and build it. Don't worry, I will fix it before mom comes in. Now I am confident that I am a good boy in front of my mommy. Well, what is the definition of a computer? Computer is a programmable machine. There are two principal characteristics of a computer. What are they? Number one, it responds to a specific set of instructions. And number two, it can execute a pre-recorded list of instructions called program. Memory. This is called memory. This long memory stick is for desktop or PC. Okay. And this short memory is for laptop. Why memory in a computer? Memory is to store data and programs temporarily. Hard drive. This is hard drive, 3.5 inch size for PC. And the small baby size, 2.5 inch is for laptop. CPU, this is CPU. C for central, P for processing, U for unit. 
Central Processing Unit. Seems it is cold. Yellow color, man. Well, it is the brain of computer. This is called LCD monitor. Everybody likes this style today. LCD monitor is also called flat panel monitor. Of course, not bulky, but modern catwalk style. Would it walk? No. Lightweight and slim. LCD means liquid, liquid crystal display. I explained about its beauty and style, but what about its use? Monitor is to show what computer has accomplished and what are you doing in the computer. This is keyboard and this is mouse. These two input devices are to feed or enter data and extractions to computer. We will start right after this. So far, so good. Now I will explain in detail about all external ports to connect your computer with input output devices. What is PS2 port? PS stands for Personal System 2. Why 2? This is IBM term because this is the second generation computer 386 model IBM introduced in the market. This is called mainboard or motherboard. This board controls everything in a PC or laptop. There are two PS2 ports. These ports are round input ports located at the extreme left of the tower and the colors are always Purple for keyboard and green for mouse. Why it is called input port? You normally feed in information by typing through this port. Whatever information you feed into the computer is called input. So the question now in your mind is what is output port? Think just opposite, whatever information you take out is called output. Now I will explain you the internal parts of a computer. This is called mainboard. It is also called motherboard. All parts and components are mounted on this mainboard. This is called north bridge. The north bridge and south bridge together form the computer's chipset secondary only to the processors in determining the performance and capabilities of a PC. The north bridge chip either provides or controls the computer's graphics, RAM and the front side bus, the main highway for data connecting graphics and memory to the CPU. In the next chapter, I will explain you how to install parts and how to connect them. I guess you enjoyed this session and got a pretty good amount of knowledge about parts and components.